Hey everybody, JB back with you again, and you'll notice that I've moved to Lillian's office again. It's now nighttime, and I discovered a couple of new things. So one of them is very hard to notice, but if you go over here, and you click way over here on the trash can, you'll find a modified copy of How Do I Love Thee, where it looks like all of the changes that uh, were made to the poem that we saw in Rick's room have been made here. So this is pretty good proof that Lillian has at least been threatening Rick. And then there's also this. You'll notice that we were looking at this earlier. Yeah, it turns out that the real thing we need to be looking at is under this. This seems to be a recurring theme in this game. He's looking at things under things. And this looks rather difficult to read. But this looks like something that could be read with glasses. Okay, so we've got a code type thing. And... Based on what we've known and what the uh, header on the paper is, it, I believe this is the key to figuring out how to get inside the control room. So I'm going to try to go in there and see what happens. I still have yet to know how to make connections between... I need something to make this work. There you go. Between all the, uh, the letters and the symbols up here. We do know that the code for the control room is ACTOR. So... Okay, here we go. So... We we seem to have a few things. We've got lines that go... That are like two prongs. Some that are three. And then there's things with dots in the middle. Yeah, I'm not entirely certain what to make of this. Um, I think the things that are like the, um, what you call it, the, um, the, uh, diagonal ones are the ones that are on the, um, oh, wait, I, I see now, I see, so there's a collection of stuff with dots, there's some without dots, and, okay, so the tic-tac-toe board has nine distinct things, and then... The, so that makes 18 with dots and then the X's have four distinct things which make eight with dots so okay so actor would be this and then this 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 and then this yes oh man guys we finally got into the control room I am so excited alright we've got some Scene blocking stuff going on there, whatever it is. Whoa, lots of tapes of lots of stuff. We got all night, right? We can totally sift through all these. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, we got a tape. Why we grabbed that one, I have no clue, but we got it. Danger, high voltage. I need voltage. to find the key for this. I need to find the key for this. <laughs> It'd be funny if we could use this. I need to find oh. the key for this. <laughs> They worked on the doorknob, so you never know. Wait, that actually worked. Ooh, okay. What does this do? On. Alright. I hope that wasn't a bad thing. I guess these are on now? What's in here? Security. Security? I hope I didn't alert anybody by doing that. Like, did I draw attention to myself by doing that? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I need something to make this work. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute! A cassette tape! Wait a sec. Or outside. 
Wait, what is that noise? It's like... Uh, uh. Oh, Oh, that just turns the whole thing off. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. What does this do? Sound effects, huh? Can we press buttons here? We got a lot of buttons. Ooh. We interrupt this program to bring you the following. Okay. So these must be like sound cues or something. Wait, is that the same sound from the tape? I wonder if that whole thing was engineered, like, up here. This has been a presentation of Worldwide Broadcasting. Cool. What is that? I can barely hear it. Phone? It's a dog! Sounds like a bunch of seagulls. Sirens. Doorbell. And... No idea. I'm sorry I, I can't hear very well here because I I can't plug my headphones in. I have to turn the computer volume down for the game to be quiet enough for the videos. Yeah, I don't really know what else to do here. Like what is what is this all about? I'm gonna try to see if we can go back to that puzzle and do anything additional with it. But what I'm curious about is this tape that we just recently Procured here. I wonder what that is. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this tape again just to make sure. So this this is the the voices, right? Yeah. That is so strange. Hmm. I'm just separating all these channels just to see. I'm guessing that channel one is the voice channel. <laughs> Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, that doesn't help us. So I'm wondering, what does Channel 3 have?
uh, like frequency one seems to be um, related to the uh, I guess, I guess we were just supposed to hear the So let's go ahead and do this tape. The tape is going to be the most important thing here. Let's go back to Maddie's place. It's weird that she's never there. I wonder if she's out partying or. Hey, taxi! Where's the old lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Alright. Alright, video. Video, video, video. I need to watch this video. And it's this video, not the other one down there. Red videotape. Uh, there we go. Whoa, who is that? Is that Dwayne? Okay, so this is around the talent exit, right? <laughs> he looks so suspicious doing that. Wait a minute. How do you get through there? And that's where the prop room is, right? Okay, well that was... That was interesting. Alright, well, uh... I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off for now. Here it is. So really, at this point, the major thing that we haven't seen yet is something that we can use... to, um operate that device that was there inside the studio area, right? I'm gonna go back to the studio. I mean, I don't see why we need for it to be daytime. It's probably better that we go there at night time. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Alright. This time I remember what this is. You know, one thing I am kind of curious about is why in the world is Ralph not reviewing the security footage of me sneaking around? Surely this is being caught on tape, right? This has to be caught on tape. Okay, is there some sort of instruction for how to operate this thing? Oh hey, there's a bulb here now. Trap door operating instructions. Oh, was this what turned on the... Oh, okay. Okay, so we just need to move this. Okay. Okay, there we go. Can't move that. There. There we go. Wait a minute, is it under here? Is it in this spot? Aha! So this is what was here. Okay, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What does this do? Whoa! Underground passage! Sweet! Hydraulic lift, emergency operating instructions. Okay. We got a big fan. And warning, look out for hydraulic lifts. So wait, there's an area there. There's also this one. So can we go up? Where does this go? Oh! 
This is inside the... Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Although it feels really close compared to the distance it seems to be in real life. Wait a minute. Is this the same material that was on top of the, the light area? Owen W. Spader. Okay. No photo, but apparently... This Owen W. Spader person is a contractor. Interesting, okay. It's locked. Yeah, it's definitely locked. Can we look at anything else, though? Anything in here? Lost and found? Do we just come all that way just to look at the, uh... At this thing? I mean, this is cool and all, but... Yeah, there's definitely a rip here. At least it looks like there's a rip there. I wonder who found this. Did Millie just find this shirt lying around? Interesting. Okay. I wonder if we can do anything else in here. Now that we turned the light on. Alright. Well, that was that. Whoops. Wait, what's the... Oh, that just lets you do that. Alright, uh... There we go. Yeah, so at least now we know what's over there. So now that we've uh, done a bunch of stuff here at nighttime. Let me just go back up to the where the upper area is just to see that stuff there again. I feel like we've been able to resolve most of the stuff here in the studio. We found out about this puzzle. We were able to connect the shirt up there with that thing in Millie's area. And I don't think we've left any item unused, so I think we must be getting pretty close to the end. I mean, we've looked at everything that we've gotten our possession, so... Let's see, it was over here, right? Yeah, that is definitely the same piece of cloth. Very interesting. Okay, so... I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna stop the video... Should we stop the video? We haven't been going that long. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave the studio, come back... And I'm going to see if I can talk to people about all the stuff that we just discovered. Because that would be really hey, cool. Hey, taxi! Let's go, lady! 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! We discovered all kinds of new stuff, so... First of all, let's see if our phone friends have anything to say on the topic. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hello. Any new developments on the case? All right, we can talk to her about a lot of stuff. I found the sound mixer, but I'm not sure what I'm looking for. <sighs> Nancy, I'm sure a master detective like you can figure this one out. Ooh, she called us a master detective. I found an employee badge for an Owen Spader in the Lost and Found. See if you can track this guy down. He may have some important information. I really need to get into Dwayne's office. I need to find more information on this Owen Spader guy. Do you think I should sneak into Dwayne's office? Oh, be careful, Nancy. It just seems so risky. Maybe you can get someone else in the building to let you in. Just don't blame me if you get caught. Alrighty. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? Alright, so George... This is George Fain. After the tone, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief message. Thanks. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Owen, the, the Owen guy has the, uh, what time is it right now? Okay, it's three in the morning. So the Owen guy had a number, right? 
So I wonder if we can put that number in the computer and find out about him. I need to go back and look at what that number Hello? is. Hi, it's me. Hi. How's it going? Eh. Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleep. Nancy... Be careful. I wonder I if we, we need to go into uh, Dwayne's office area, because it sounds like she wants to break into that area, which kind of sounds like an un-Nancy thing to do, breaking and entering. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. All right, let's see here. It's locked. Yeah, I don't really see any way of getting in there. Maybe we ring one of these other things and it's like something that's obviously nighttime related. Maybe they'll let us in and we can just sneak over to where Dwayne works. Let's see, is there like a... I am trouble. <laughs> that still cracks me up. We don't want any. Aww. They still don't want any, guys. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna go to the studio. I'm gonna re-look at that, uh, that ID card. I wonder why there's a hydraulic lift that goes right into that secret area of the prop room. That just seems strange. Oh my goodness, what would happen? I wonder what would happen if you, whoops. I, oh yeah, here we go. What would happen if you went into the hydraulic lift during the daytime and you went through there while uh, while Millie was in there. I wonder if you'd get caught. That would be really fun to try that. Well, we need to go over here, not there. But yeah, seriously, like I wonder if, we, if we're here during the daytime, we go through, go inside the this studio area since it's closed apparently, and then we could go into this, and then we could sneak right up on Millie. That would be so awesome. Of course, maybe we could just make enough noise not to hear. Not to disturb her. Okay. Here we go. It's 31867-2001. Alright, I'm just going to take a picture of this with my handy dandy cell phone. Okay. There we go. Also, that's not a signature. It's just a print writing of your name. Alright, so now, let's enter in that number on the computer. Maybe this is the dude that we saw on the security tape. I wonder if that's what's going on. Got some crazy stuff here to look up. So Millie. So I'm assuming there's other computers here in the studio. There's gotta be, right? All right, let's find this guy's number: three one eight six seven two thousand one. No, 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 no! I didn't mean to do that. There you go. It looks like Owen was on the set every time something happened to Rick. Oh, So it seems like this guy comes out of the Powers Agency, huh? Very suspicious. Alright. Well, now that's interesting. So I think we need to call up Mr. Powers and have a word with him about what's going on with this guy. I wonder if this is going to be like Secrets Can Kill, where it's a culprit that we don't know anything about until the very end, you know? Mitch Dillon in the original version. I know that in the updated version it's somebody else, but... Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and go to sleep for now. It's locked. And I think I'm going to start the next day by calling up Dwayne. So yeah. I think I'm going to just go ahead and call it here, so thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side.